Hi, I'm Tanya Lux, Product Marketing Manager for Corel Painter, and I'm going to step you through how to create a very simple auto painting. To begin, you grab your image, we go to the window menu and select our auto painting panels. The very first step is underpainting, and we can modify the appearance of the image we're working with by selecting color schemes, doing things like increasing contrast, and then I apply that. And next, I'm going to saturate my colors to make them pop and apply that. And now we click Auto Clone. It creates a new file. It's cleared the image off of the file. And we can use something called tracing paper to see that original image. You click Command or Control T to turn this tracing paper on and off. And now we're going to auto paint using the intelligence built into Painter. I'm going to select my Artist Category and Sargent Brush. You can choose any tool that you would like in Painter. I just need to make sure that I've got cloning turned on. When the color wheel is grayed out, it's turned on. Command or Control T and we click Play and now it's going to do all of the painting for us. All we've done is to edit the original image to make those colors and contrast pop. And when this is finished, it'll quit splashing the paint out on the canvas. Now we're going to restore. Clicking restoration is going to allow me to pull back some of the original photo. So we'll zoom in so we can see where we want to work here. And I can toggle the tracing paper on so I can see the original image or leave it off. And I just grab my soft edge cloner brush and lightly brush over the areas that I would like to pull back some of that photographic reality. And this is really the final step in a very simple auto painting in Corel Painter 12. We can now take this, save it out as an image file, and place it in a layout. 